guys, we, <clears throat> Harry and I are going to talk about uh, one of the elements in freestyle frisbee. Uh, when we do freestyle, uh, it's made up of a section of elements to get a pass. Uh, you've got team movement, directional, uh, throw diversity, you've got your dog catch, you've got your vaults, over. Um, and another one is the passing. So passing is uh, commonly where the dog will pass either through your legs or in close proximity to your body uh, to get two consecutive throws in a row. So in order to gain um, points for your pass, you need to get this element in passing. So I'm going to show you the foundations with uh, Harry, Royce, and then also Rain, whereas Rain is advanced. So the easiest way to start this is doing our setup moves. Now, I previously did a video with Phoenix actually on demonstrating what our setup moves are. And one of the things that a lot of people do at home but don't realize they do is send the dog through our legs. So we want the dog to be able to be comfortable going through our legs. Good boy, Harry. So we're just going to reward them back and through. Good boy. Good. Yeah, that's a lovely roller. That's beautiful, Harry. See? Good boy. Harry. Good. Harry. So just sending them back and forth. Through our legs, doesn't matter if he comes around at the moment. We just want him comfortable going through. Harry, that's a rollover, good boy. Coming back through, good. Harry, coming through, good. Good boy. Okay, so we want them comfortable. He's definitely comfortable going through my legs. There's no issue about that. So what we need to, what I need to do now with Harry is starting to get more of a consistency with back and forth and not coming around. So I'm going to arm myself with treats in both hands. So I'm going to lure Harry uh, through and trying to get him to come back the other way by using my hands as a visual target for him. Good boy. Harry, good. Harry, through. Harry, through. Good. Harry, through. Harry, through. Harry, through. 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 Good boy. Get that. Good boy. Harry, through. Good. Through. Harry, through. Good. Through. Good. Harry, through. Good. Harry through, good. The next step we need to go outside because we need to do a roller or what we call a slider. So remembering a roller is where the frisbee is on its side and it rolls along the ground. So a roller, frisbee, it's on its side and rolls along the ground. A slider, we want to get it to slide on the flat surface of the, uh, the face of the frisbee. And that's where we just slide it along the ground like that. Okay, so let's go outside. All right, so I'm outside. I'm here with Harry again. Uh, we're going to put these passing shots into a little bit of... So I'm back outside with Harry. Uh, what we're going to do now is get Harry to go through the legs for our passing to either chase down a slider or a roller. Now... Harry knows a roller, so I'll do a roller. Um, and what you can do, you can either keep your back to them as they're coming back through, or you can turn around and face them. So if you're turning around to face them, um, just make sure that you're doing it a little bit quicker than what they are coming back to you, so you don't actually get caught in the crossfire. All right. Good 
Ready? Okay, so that's chasing down a roller through the legs. Now, I didn't have to use the verbal through. He's visualizing the legs. That is his cue. Um, closed legs mean don't come through. So it's pretty simple for them to actually get that concept. All right, I'll go swap dogs and get Roycey. All right, so I'm here with Rolls Royce. We're going to uh, do some little throws with uh, our passing now. So it's okay when you're getting your dog through, just to guide them a little bit more with the frisbee and then a nice little short throw out. So it's important that when we're learning this, not to throw, you know, 20 yards, just do a nice little five meter throw. Um, it will help build their confidence and drive for this. So it's important that we keep our, our criteria consistent. Oh boy. And that is, Ensuring that we've got all our foundations right, um, making sure we've got a, a dog that is happy and ready to work, making sure there's no injuries when we're doing frisbee. So that's why foundations are important and keeping your criteria with a short throw when we're learning. All right. Okay, so what we can do to jazz up our passing is to use different throws. Uh, you know, we've got our forehand, our backhand, our overarm, our side. Um, you know, and that's how we can jazz up our passing. There's another one we can, where we can go in front of the body. So I'll go get Rain and we'll display how to do that. Okay, so I'm here with Rain and we're going to demonstrate uh, passing in front of us uh, at close proximity. Uh, I'm going to do this by calling him into me a little bit and then throwing it out. So that's why a lot of people prefer to do between the legs because close proximity um, in front or behind you uh, is a lot difficult because we can tend to push them out with our body. But we'll give it a go. Okay, so to fancy our passings up, to fancy our passing, um, that's when we do our different type of throws. So with Rain there, I was actually doing left-handed backhand. So I was swapping, so right hand and then left hand. Um, so we can do our overhand, um, we can do our side as well. Um, and you can do that with your left and right hand too. So um, you have to play around with it a little bit but it's a good skill to have and you need it if you're going to compete in freestyle um, canine disc. So I hope that helps you all. Remember, keep your training session short, ensure you've got the right uh, criteria, make sure they've done all their foundational work and ensure that they're not injured before you start doing Frisbee. See ya.